Hi everyone, Amy Love here, and I would like to share with you these adorable eggs with the crackle finish that I just created. And I started with paper mache eggs that I put two coats of gesso on, and then I pounced on some chalk paint in the color lace, and I do believe I gave it two coats of paint. Um, then I wrapped a rubber band around the middle so that I could put um, so I could mark the middle of the egg and that's going to help me in many different uh, steps of this of this creation. So I want to decoupage some napkins so I removed the plies of napkins from underneath and now I'm just using a wet paintbrush to go around the image that I want to put on the egg. And it always looks better to have this torn edge than to have a straight edge. So even on the straight side you're going to want to add the water and, and tear it off. It just looks better when you do it that way. Okay, and now we are going to add the uh, picture from the napkin on the egg and I'm going to be using Mod Podge. So I put a nice generous coat of Mod Podge um, on the egg and I use the line I drew with the rubber band to make sure that I'm getting the picture in the center. So that's the first thing I'm using that for. It's very important. So then I just lay it on there and now I'm going to lay some plastic wrap, wrap over the top and I'm going to start in the middle and then smooth it out. And this helps you get the wrinkles out. It's amazing. I love it. Great technique. I wouldn't do it any other way now. And so you just rub it out. And the plastic wrap peels right off and you have this beautiful image. Ta-da! All right, now we're gonna Mod Podge over the top of the image and I start in the middle and work my way out. And then you're gonna wanna seal the entire egg with the Mod Podge. The crackle medium I'm using is not a friend with chalk paint, so you're gonna want to make sure the entire egg gets sealed with the uh, Mod Podge or whatever decoupage medium you're using. I'm going to use Deco Art Crackle Medium. It is my favorite. You can buy it on Amazon. I think you can also get it at like Hobby Lobby. It's fantastic. So this isn't like other crackle mediums. Some crackle mediums you can't brush over the top of it once you've brushed it on. This isn't like that. So I can just uh, put, use little strokes to make sure I'm getting it on. Now I'm using that middle line again because I'm going to do half of the egg at a time. I'm going to do half, then I'm going to let it dry, then I'm going to do the other half. Now the thinner the coat you put on, the tinier the cracks will be. I'm trying to get a really good thick coat on this, but not so thick that it's dripping. And I move it around in the light just to make sure that I don't have any spots that I missed. Because it's easy to miss spots because it's clear. So you can see where it's really shiny, that's where the crackle medium is. So I'll set that to dry and then I'll just do the other side. And this doesn't take 24 hours to dry like other crackle mediums. I, it probably took a couple hours. All right, now I'm using some uh, Distress Ink and Vintage Photo to rub into the cracks. It's all dry and now I'm rubbing it in. Now you want to make sure you're going to have to rub it in really firm because you want it to get into the cracks, not just laying on top of uh, the egg because you're going to be buffing some of that off. So right here is what I'm doing. I'm buffing off some of that extra ink, and so you'll just uh, see the ink that's down in the cracks. It's beautiful. Look at that, it's gorgeous. All right, and now I'm gonna cover up that middle line and use it for my guide to add the trim around the middle of the egg. I absolutely love how these turned out. They're so cute, they're so simple to do, and they really don't take long. And, and they're stinking adorable! So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you give it a try. Um, and let me know if you do, I'd love to hear about it. And like I said, this is my favorite crackle medium. So thank you all for being here, and I hope to see you on the next one.